Hi friends, this is Smita, a personal empowerment life coach and an executive coach. And today I'm going to talk about the five ways to push past your comfort zone. I firmly believe that the way to grow in life is to step out of your comfort zone, push out of it and move into a growth zone. So here are my five ways that have enabled me to step out of my comfort zone and grow in my life and career. Number one, do one thing differently every day. Your everyday life provides you with enough opportunities to challenge yourself on a daily basis. For instance, you can turn off your smartphone every time you have your meals or go for that 10 minute walk today, which you have been avoiding for ages. I start every morning asking myself, what is that one new thing or a new way to do the same thing? How can I adapt it today? And I ensure that I accomplish this new task during the day. This helps me to break out of a comfortable routine. So do one thing differently every day. Number two, start small and be consistent. A long journey begins with a single step. If you don't run at all, the goal of running a marathon will look daunting to you and you may never start. Instead, if you chunk down the goal into interim milestones and take the first step of running for 15 minutes every day before gradually increasing the time, it becomes achievable. Your attitude towards the marathon will change and you will be able to build a consistent momentum towards achieving it. When I started writing, getting a book published appeared too daunting a goal. So instead of getting stressed about publishing a book, I focused on writing for half an hour every day. With time, the 30 minutes became 90 minutes. And today I'm an author of two published books, 50 plus short stories and 35 plus blogs and leadership articles. All this was possible because I wrote something every day. I started small. Number three, Learn or do something new every year. Learning a new skill or trying a new thing expands your perspectives and grows your horizons. It also fosters creativity, enhances your self-confidence and facilitates upskilling. You will reconnect to a new side of yourself, which was hitherto your blind spot. I make it a point to take up a new course each in writing and coaching every year in areas where I want to explore or improve more. This helps to keep me abreast of developments in my professional space. On a personal side, I travel to one new place annually. That gives me the opportunity to try out new cuisines and new people, enriching me as an individual. Number four, choose the fear you want to face and face it. Success comes not in the absence of fear, but moving forward in spite of them. Select one fear that is holding you back currently and confront it. For instance, if you're afraid of public speaking, speak up more at meetings and join a local public speaking club. I always had stage fright and thought myself incapable of delivering an address to a large audience. That's when an opportunity came to me to address a gathering of 100 plus people. This was way back in 2018. My first response was to decline because of my fear. I was scared. I was afraid of facing the audience. But I didn't decline. I took it up. I practiced damn hard and delivered that address on stage and later received the compliment of, it does not look like this is your first time from the host. 
I wish he knew. Since then, I have taken to the stage many times and earlier this year become a TEDx speaker. Do it trembling if you must, but do it. Choose the fear you want to face and face it. Number five, do one nice thing for someone else every day. It feels really good to do something for another person. Trust me on this. You may choose to do it anonymously or in public view. What is more important, that you are giving your time to another person. You are giving some part of yourself, even if in a small way. Walk an elderly person to the bus stop, help your partner with their passport application, or help clean up your neighborhood park. You will grow and also feel happy in the process. Every evening, I think or look around to decide who is the person I want to help today and how can I do so. Then I go ahead and do it. It doesn't take much time and the smile from the other person always lifts me up. Even at times I'm feeling low. So do one nice thing for someone else every day. Consistency is the key here. Well, that was all that I had to say. For more such professional tips, you can follow me and my work on my website www.lifecoach.com smithadjen.com If you like what you saw today, please leave a comment and share this video in your network. I'll see you the next time. Until then, bye-bye.